What's your wellness routine look like now? I eat dinner early in the evening. I do a nice intermittent fast. I usually eat something about 12. Mm -hmm. um, and in the morning, I'll have some things that won't spike my blood sugar, right? So I, I have coffee, but I really like soup for lunch. Um, I have bone broth for lunch a lot of the day. Okay, so immediately after I saw that clip of Gwyneth Paltrow's quote unquote wellness detox routine, I had a very strong negative reaction. First question, what are you detoxing from if you don't eat anything? No sourdough bread, no ice cream, like that is not for me. I am also, you know, intrinsically enraged by the notion that society puts out there that if we're not a size zero to two, we're not well. And I'm also over this, you know, intermittent fasting bullshit. Um, so I thought it would be kind of interesting to do uh, what I eat in a day as a person who loves food. And I'll also say that recently I gained a considerable amount of weight. I went from a size double zero to a size nine and that's okay. I go to the gym so that I can feel better. I work on my cardio fitness. I'm not a nutritionist by any means, but I do know that I feel better when I go to the gym mentally and physically. I like the high I get from running. Um, but I'm also not going to deny myself the simple pleasures of a Haagen-Dazs ice cream bar, knowing full well that I'm gonna die someday. And honest to God, I don't think I'm gonna sit on my deathbed and think, God damn, I wish I was skinnier. Um, I really don't. So if you're a woman or man who likes to eat and you feel bad about that, it, let it go, bro. If you're a woman who ma or a man who doesn't um, like the fact that you don't particularly fit into a smaller size, get rid of the clothes that don't fit you and go get something that fits because you will feel better in an outfit that's not hurting you physically because it's too tight. It's okay to be a bigger size. It's okay to be okay with yourself you can enjoy your life just as you are right now. So without further ado, here's the type of I eat in a day. Ugh, mother <laughs> No Bork, I just got home and it's lunchtime and I don't know what I want to eat, but I got a lot of options and I got a lot of things and I just don't know what to eat. I got ramen, but I also have leftovers and then there's this corn and I love corn or I can make a salad. Oh, I have avocado. See what I'm saying? Like there's just like options on options on options in this bitch. I also have ruffles and salami, which don't make me feel great, but they do taste good. Yeah, I don't know what to do, Bobo. Do you have a suggestion for mommy? Do you know what mommy should have for lunch? Could you tell me? Do you know what mommy should have for lunch? Should I have you? Oh, here's the icky boy. Icky boy, icky boy. 
little baby sticky boy. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Should I just call it in and make myself some of the tonkatsu miso ramen? Uh... Okay, while well, I figure this out, I'm gonna have an apple because I'm starving. Ugh. I'm gonna have some cheese with it too. So that'll help a little bit. And right now I'm feeling a little bit like I'm gonna make a sandwich. You know, I can make a salami sandwich. I just don't know if I wanna put avocado on a salami sandwich. But maybe I do, maybe I do, I don't know. I decided to make a salami Swiss cheese sandwich with avocado and Jersey Mike's way, but Lizzie's way. My frame, baby. Gotta pay the cheese tax. I made it kind of Jersey Mike's way. I got the tomato, the oil, the vinegar, the Italian seasoning, and then I got lettuce, salami, and um, Swiss cheese on sourdough. Then we got the pepperoncinis, the avocado, because that was gonna go bad, red onion, and that's on top of a mayo honey mustard base. And I added ruffles because I'm not a monster. That's delish. <laughs> you guys, I blew it. I've had two ice creams off camera, but I had two ice cream cones. And now I'm at f***ing sushi. Why two? Because I wanted to. <laughs> They're small. Anyways, I just had an OMG roll. This was salmon, sashimi. This was edamame and shishito peppers. Um. That's my dinner before improv class. <laughs> oh, oh, you've seen Josh in the flesh. I thought they'd only met you on the phone. But here he is. He's got to take his pills. I gotta take my pills. I'm taking my pills, my old man. Cheers to that. Cheers. <sighs> my house is a fucking mess. It is a stormy, stormy? Storm storms outside. Bobo just got a bath. So did Icky, but he's been liberated from his bathrobe. And I thought it would be, oh, she nibbled off all her nails but one. I thought it would be fun to do a recipe that's not a recipe. It's just from my heart. It's from my heart to your heart. And I was kind of craving tacos. Tacos and burritos, so it's popping out of that speedo. Are you pooping? Um, and I think I'm gonna put them in a lettuce wrap. I got these at Costco. We got the lechugs. Great, okay. And then I got this Wagyu beef. Something splattered on me when I did that and I regret it. I got some radishes. Your girl's a big radish bitch. Ooh, I've got this bit, some salon drizzle. Make a little cilantro drizzle for it. This is how I cook. I just started going in my kitchen. I'm like, what do I have? Oh, perfect. The rest of that avocado from yesterday's sandwich and the day before's. Oh no, that's the spicy tuna mayo, whatever. Ooh, we've got some white onion that I can put in it and it's got some beet drizzle on it. I don't have, I don't have time to clean my kitchen. Okay. Um, oop. We got some mild piss picante. Some snosa. Ooh, you know what? Corn. We're gonna do some corn with this shit. And lechis. Okay. Then we're gonna go to little spices in here. We're gonna get spicy. Ooh, this mocha. I'm gonna close you. I'm also gonna take this garlic out. I wonder if there's anything else I need in there. Ooh, green onions. I'm gonna put some green onions in this bitch too. Chop those up and put them on top. Ooh, I've had this chimple for a little bit too long and I don't know how to get rid of it. Okay, there's my bit. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Okay, Um, find less if I'm too much for you. The spices, I'm probably gonna use a little bit of this. No, this, a little bit of that. Get us some cumin. I know I've got cumin, I know I do. 
ginger, brown red pepper, cayenne pepper. I'm gonna need that. Where the is my cumin at? Cumin! All right, now I'm gonna Google a taco seasoning from scratch type of deal. And I'm gonna start making the beef. Meat! Now I'm gonna cut up the onions and uh, start sauteing those because they take a second to get all translucent and soft or whatever the word is for it. And if I'm gonna be cutting onions, you know I'm also gonna be wearing goggles because I don't need to cry today. I'm gonna do uh, half of a white onion. Could have been a yellow onion, probably a white onion, knowing me, because it's in my sandwich bag and I like to put white onions on my sandwiches. Or I used to, now I'm a red onion girly, but each week's different. And that's a lesson you can take through this life. Be open to change, be open to evolving. One week you might be a white onion girly, the next week you might be a red onion girly. Um, as we were chatting, I realized that my beef was starting to get really hot, so I'm gonna turn the temp down. And I'm gonna break this bitch up. Do you want to play mermaids? Those are diced. I'm heating them up in a side pan with a little bit of olive oil. Woo, that should be enough. And then we're just gonna toss those bitches in. How you doing? And I'm going to spread the yum yums around in the olive oil, kind of coating all of them. And as soon as they sort of start to get a little bit more translucent, I'm gonna add in like two tablespoons of already minced garlic. Uh, yeah, that's my that's my plan. Stay tuned. Is it just me or do the goggles make it look like I got a bocal fat removal on my face? And is it pronounced bocal? And is it fucking terrifying? All right, now I'm gonna make the taco seasoning using this recipe I found online. Five teaspoons of sweet paprika, one and a quarter teaspoons ground cumin, one and a quarter teaspoons onion powder, one teaspoon chili powder, I'm guessing that's cayenne pepper, one and a half teaspoons oregano leaves, and we're just gonna stir this all together to make some taco seasoning. Oh shit, we've got to add some salt, I think, too. Hang on, hang on, let's see. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And we're gonna mix that back up. Awesome, great. Okay, now my um yums are looking good. I'm going to add in the garlic now. And do a tablespoon of minced garlic. I personally prefer mincing my own garlic, but this is fast and easy, and I'm not mad at it. I also just added a teaspoon of cornstarch to the meat and three quarter cups of water. Um, I've never done that before, but I the taco seasoning recipe just suggested I do that. And honestly, I didn't really read the taco seasoning recipe instruction about the cornstarch and the water, so I just threw it in with the meat, which you know I didn't drain because I'm problematic. She's a problematic queen. Hold on, let me fix this slick back. I'm looking a little wild. Um, okay, so I mixed that all up in there. Now I'm gonna add the taco seasoning. Looks like cat food right now. Um, hopefully it gets better. Adding the seasoning. Okay, I'm only gonna put that much seasoning in because I'm already feeling anxious about it. I'm gonna mix it now. Mix it good. Mix that cat food just like you should. And I'm going to add in my onions now. Turn the heat down. Honestly, this looks delish. Let's try it. It's pink. That's great. I'm gonna add the rest of the seasoning. Yerma! Wow. From cat food to riches. She be looking right. I forgot I was gonna fuck up that corn. So now I'm gonna cut the corn off the cob and put it into a pan with like butter and garlic powder. Very 
forgot I brought the corn over here already. <laughs> so I'm just gonna cut the corn off like this. You'll see, I'll show you. Come. Needs a better knife. Andreas chose knife, don't tell him. Hmm. I'm scared. Is this easier? Wow, stressful. I'm just gonna throw these guys into a pan and drizzle them with olive oil. I just got the impulse to chop up the green onion and add it to the corn, which I put a lid on. And I added a little bit of water too to help sort of like steam it in the oil. So I'm gonna chop up one of these guys and add it to that. Kinda cute. Um, I don't wanna overcook these, but I also don't know how to actually cook these. So I'm gonna set a timer for like five minutes and then I'm gonna come back and taste it and see how she's doing. And in the meantime, I'm gonna prep my lettuce to wrap these dogs. Oh no, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a sauce. Um, I really like sour cream, but I'm pretty sure the sour cream in my fridge is rotten because I'm cute like that. Yeah, she's cute like that. Um, oh, I'm going to make some plain Greek yogurt sauce, but it's not gonna be like plain Greek yogurt. It's gonna be like a hot girl yogurt situation. I have some um, ranch dip powder. I don't know what else to call it besides that. Um, let me show y'all. You know the party's getting lit when someone pulls out a baggie of ranch dip powder. And I'm gonna mix that with some lemon juice and some quote unquote fresh cilantro paste and the Greek yogurt. And I'm gonna see what that gets me. Stay tuned, it might be disgusting, so I'll start small. Oh, forgot to set the timer. Okay, it's 1.38 right now. So 9, 10, 40, 41, 42, 43. At 143, we'll check on our corn knees. Okay, I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of the Greek yogurt. Get out, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna put a lid on her. And I'm gonna cut my lemon. And we need my lemon squeezer. I'm gonna do about a quarter of a lemon juice in my stuff. That's good. I would say that's like a tablespoon of lemon. Lemon juice in there, if you see it. Do you see? And then I'm going to do fucking rancid. I'm not gonna eat it because it's like the expiration date is rubbed off September 8th and all I can see is a two. So we're just gonna toss it. We're not gonna do a cilantro anything. We're just gonna toss it. But we are gonna put in this ranch dip. Also, if this is rancid, who cares? It's two tablespoons of yogurt. Ready, Key? We'll make a comeback. Okay, a teaspoon of ranch dip, ranch dip mix. I'm gonna put that back in the bag so that we can party later, ladies. What time did I say that was gonna be done? I'm gonna take a fork and I'm just gonna sort of mix it together. And if it's not good, I probably just won't use any sour cream at all, which is sad because I fucking love it. It's not not, ugh. It's like, I feel it in my jowls. It just tastes like yogurt, you know what I mean? It's not sour cream. Now I'm gonna slice up the radishes because I love a good radish. Ooh, it. Turn the corn off, it looks done. Boom. Okay. Oh, it dropped one in the dressing that I don't love. Here's my cutie little radishes, little radish guys. I'm gonna slice them up. 
I just ripped off a few of the buttermilk lettuce leaves and rinsed them off because they were a little dirty. And I'm gonna dry them a bit. I really like a buttermilk lettuce leaf for wrapping because it's kind of like a softer lettuce. This is like a nice leaf that's malleable. So I'll probably, I'll pack it in and then I'll be able to like fold it and blah, blah, blah. So I sliced up this ratty ass avocado. I think the way I'm gonna assemble this bitch is gonna be cheese first, then beef so that the cheese kind of melts. So you know it's legit. The chest brinks. Yes. Yes. That's beautiful. That's a really great. Okay, now I'm gonna put the beef on it. I'm gonna let my eyes burning. Yes, taco meat. Put about a spoonful in each. Yermy dermy. A little bit more. Oh yes. Okay. Those look like poop on leaves. Now I'm gonna put on my, back it up, avocados. I'm gonna just put the camera down, forgive me. Oh sh you guys, it smells so good. Oh wait, first corn. Beautiful, four spacious corn. Oh, that steam, Fuck. Okay, now I'm gonna drop in the cotto, sprinkle that across the top, some skank cotto, and then we're gonna drop in the radash, the radishes, and eat whatever leftovers you got. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna put a little bit of salsa on. The salsa is nearing the end of its life. Oh, good, okay. Final looks. Okay, I'm gonna taste this one. I'm gonna do the sauce on it as like a second bite. Mm. 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 This shit's fucking me up, daddy. Okay, I'm gonna try it with a little bit of the sauce. The sauce can hang. It's going on all of them. Oh, this is so good. I'm gonna make this all the time. Thank God we made a record of it. Sometimes things just work out. I'm gonna go finish eating this now because it's the kind of food where once you have a grip on it, you can't set it down because it just goes to sh So if you do recreate this at home by yourself, definitely don't set a taco down mid consumption finish that bitch before you start on your next one don't put it down this is not a conversation food this is a solo food bye i love you and i'll see you next tuesday